on, when was, on Sunday, I was telling people who are normally doing contributions that side, I said, I, I saw something that really shocked me. I will tell you what happened. You know when we read in the, in the Bible, the Bible tells us that you cannot see the face of God. Huh? I'm right, huh? Yes. But on, I believe it's that week when I said to you, this is a week of visitation. I, I'm sure it's the past Sunday when I was saying to you, this is a, vi a week of a visitation. Let me get a small volume. On Monday, <clears throat> I, was a, I was at home. I think it was in the evening. I was sitting on the bed like this. And I have had so many experiences of being with Jesus, doing this, seeing this, and seeing all those things. But the level of grace that I saw on Monday was something else. When I was sitting, I saw myself as if I've moved from where I was sitting. And I was taken to another place. When I reached there, I see someone who's sitting on the chair. And I look at that person. But I couldn't see from this part going up. I look, I look. When I was looking there, I started to see a face appearing slowly. I'm looking at the face, it's appearing very slow. And when it's starting to be visible, I said, Ay, this is Jesus. And when I was looking, looking, I'm looking. I had to bang. It's like that noise, God never wanted me to see everything I wanted to see. But I could see this is the face of Jesus. Where the noise was coming from, I can't tell you. And when it hit, boom! Same time, I went back where I was sitting. I said, the word of God says, Moses, he will speak to God face to face. And why can God give us the same grace of meeting him to see him? It takes another level of sacrifice. Oh, you hear me? It takes what? Another level of sacrifice. You know, many people, they speak about their experiences. My, I saw an angel, hey, blah, 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 blah. But that day, I look at her face, I said, hi. You are Jesus, you. With my two eyes. I look there, brother. So this is Jesus. When I was looking, because, you know, you know when you look at something, you know, it's like when you see a celebrity, you want to make sure it's, it's the person you are seeing. When I was still focusing, I'm looking there. I heard another noise I was not understanding. I believed that was the power of the Holy Ghost. Because, don't clap hands, because same time, after I had that bang, I found myself sitting again on the bed. I can't tell you what happened. But today, I want to tell you, I know what I saw. Amen. I know what I saw. Even if I meet him like this, I'll tell you, this is Jesus. Because I know what I saw. I want to pray today that many of you today let the same grace come to you in the name of Jesus. 
I say, let the same grace come to you in the name of Jesus. Ah, you know, we, we, we know that the word of God tells us, if you see God, and get, I know what I saw. I looked at him like this. He was sitting down. I looked at him like this. I said, ah! I'm telling you, if I had a camera, I was just a tuck. And I bring and say, look. You people, I always tell you this thing. I always say this thing to you. Spend more time with God. Have time to pray. If you are sitting like this, you pray. If you are bathing, you pray. If you are cooking, you pray. If you are doing something, you pray. Because whatever that you do, your heart can never stop thinking, isn't it? Amen. Why can't you use that time to pray? Yeah? Rather than to worry about, I don't have money, hey, I don't have a car. Do you think all, uh, us pastors, we have got everything all figured out? Huh? But look what we do. 90% of our time, we give it to God. Today. I want to come and stand here. I want you people to be given a grace that other people, if they receive or they see things you are seeing, they will die. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. I want God to give you a grace that, you know, you receive things that if they happen to other people, they will die. Yeah. And you, if the word of God says Moses could see God, let me ask a pastor. I'm sure the word of God is saying Moses was meeting God face to face. Yes, sir. What is the meaning of face to face? Uh, it means they were seeing each other, isn't it? Each other like yes. It means Moses, he had an, the grace that other people never had. You could see God, then look at him. Today I want to pray for you. Amen. I believe this grace can work for you. <laughs> As I believe this grace can work for you. Amen. How many of you believe that? Amen. I believe this grace can work for you. Amen. Huh? Amen. I can't hear you. Amen. I can't hear you. Amen. If Moses could see God and meet him nine nine. And never die. It means there's, there's still people who can see the face of God. Amen. I'm telling you. It means there's still people who can see God like this. I'll give you another one. It's Abraham. It's Abraham. Abraham could see God. So why not you? Holy Spirit, today I pray that give these people, people that you want to give them this grace. I want to count. Let this grace fall on them today. One. Two. Three. Receive this grace. Receive it. Hey, you people, receive this grace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The grace to see beyond the curtain. Where other prophets cannot see. I'm saying the grace to see beyond that curtain. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm trying to tell you. The grace to see where other people, if they see, they must die. If Moses could see God, why can't we see him? I say, if Moses could see God, 
Why can't we see? Because the word of God does not say Moses was meeting God and God was facing there. It says they were facing each other face to face. Looking at each other. Today, I pray that God must touch you. Jesus, release your spirit to your children. In the name of Jesus. I say, Jesus, release your spirit to your children. If there's a demon that is blocking you to receive this kind of a grace, I tell that demon to come out. I say, hey, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Because I'm seeing some people, let me stretch my hand here. I'm seeing some people here that will receive. Receive. Receive in the name of Jesus. Ah. You people, if you don't believe in God, you must leave us to believe in God. Imagine you are sitting and God comes to you. And you see him. You say, ah, this is God. This is the same God that I've been praying to. And when you are still looking, you hear, bah! When you are still looking like this, ah, oh, my brother, I know what I saw. Oh, I know what I saw. I, you know, I said to myself, maybe I need to keep quiet and never say anything. On Sunday, I came to church. I never said anything. I said, let me keep quiet. But I want to tell you, I know what I saw. If you don't believe in Jesus, you must come to me. I will tell you how he looks like.